Welcome to the rocket profile of the Antares 200 series launcher, Orbital ATK's flagship rocket. The first stage of the Antares 200 rockets are powered by two RD-181 engines providing 1,978 kN each for 3 minutes and 22 seconds depending on throttling. They use kerosene and oxygen with a specific impulse of 310.7 seconds at sea level and 337 seconds in vacuum. In many ways, this first stage is reminiscent of the first stage of the Atlas V, providing the same amount of thrust with the same efficiency. Unlike the Atlas V, however, the Antares 200 series doesn't use strap-on boosters, so it can't burn the first stage for quite as long and requires a more powerful second stage. The Antares 200 series differs from the 100 series with these first stage engines. The Antares 100 rockets used AJ-26 engines, which were renovated NK-33s, originally meant for the Soviet moon rocket, the N-1. After four successful launches with those AJ-26s, the fifth launch on October 28, 2014 exploded shortly after launch due to an engine fault. That catastrophe led to the replacement of those engines. So far, there has been one launch of the Antares 200 series, and it was successful. The second stage of Antares 200 is a solid fuel booster, either a Castor 30B or a Castor 30XL. For the Castor 30B, the second digit in the designation is a 2, making it an Antares 220. The rocket being shown has a Castor 30XL, and so it is an Antares 230. Actually, it is an Antares 232 because it's also carrying one of the optional third stages. In this case, it is also a solid fuel booster, a Star 48 BV. The Castor 30XL provides 263.6 kN of vacuum thrust for 4 minutes and 5 seconds, a very long duration for an SRB, and with an efficiency of 299 seconds ISP in vacuum, which is also at the upper end for an SRB. Without the optional third stages, the Antares rockets can carry 6 tons to low Earth orbit. The third stage shown here is a Star 48 BV being delivered to orbit as an interplanetary transfer stage. With it, the Antares 232 can send a 1-ton payload beyond escape velocity. The Star 48 BV has 93.1 kN of thrust for 62.8 seconds with a vacuum ISP of 294 seconds. So far, Antares has not been used for this purpose, so I am not entirely sure whether it will be spin-stabilized in the manner depicted. The primary payload for all Antares launches so far has been the Cygnus cargo transfer vehicle bringing supplies to the International Space Station. And with that, thank you for watching the Rocket Profile of the Antares 200 series.